So why Firebolt? Um, this is pretty much uh, uh, sums it up. Um, we did a POC with Firebolt about, I think, a year ago, um, a year and a half maybe. And um, what we saw is that uh, we compared it to Athena, to BigQuery. Um, and for example, let's take a look uh, for large sites, meaning like uh, sites which have a lot of data in our uh, database, in our table, the, the table we saw. So for, uh, for a single country, uh, USA, the largest country, uh, for one month, the, the query returns in one to two seconds, even less. And for larger, uh, for worldwide, for example, it can return in six seconds. But uh, in all of those uh, scenarios, uh, Athena was the worst. BigQuery uh, was uh, next, and but but Firebolt pretty much had the best performance out of all the three of them. And um, there's also some other uh, pros. Uh, performance, I talked about it. It's a major latency improvement compared to BigQuery and Athena. Um, another important thing is uh, an ELT process of working. Uh, we actually don't need uh, any data transformation or processing. Uh, we just uh, get the data and just uh, running just where you enter the data into Firebolt and just query the data from all different aspects and all different ways. Um, so we don't need any additional data transformation um, uh, as we've seen before. Uh, also, one, uh, one more important thing is it's dynamic. Like you can support many features on the same data set. Uh, just you can have different engines. Uh, you have uh, computing storage uh, decoupling. So uh, if you need to uh, support, uh, like in segments, we support also a lot of other features on the same data. Uh, so we don't need to rewrite this data. Uh, we can support it on the same data set. And it's this, it basically supports also ORC files and parquets. So we basically just uh, we use the same data as in production in our data lake. We don't process it again uh, if, uh, with, the, with our data lake. Um, so this is how it is in production now. So uh, the entire thing, uh, that you saw earlier with the, with the Lambda, AWS Lambda and S3, it's just the Firebolt engine. Uh, pretty much does the same thing, uh, queries the Firebolt engine using, uh, using our code, uh, .NET, using a client, um, using a Firebolt uh, REST API, uh, queries the data, gets the data, does some other calculations, which it did before. I'm not going to talk about that, but some pretty simple calculations and returns the data to the user. So uh, all those AWS numbers are uh, replaced by Firebolt engine. And the ingestion part, uh, remember when we had here like a Spark job uh, with Databricks, so that is gone. And we use, uh, we just insert, we just load the data from the data lake uh, um, straight to uh, Firebolt uh, uh, using uh, Airflow as a task uh, orchestrator. Um, and that's it. 